So we have a sequence of three courses. Each of those courses has um, readings, reading responses, so there's rich content in those courses. And what the apprentice teachers have often said is that that content makes sense because they could see it in their classrooms. The experience is invaluable. It's um, showed me that I'm in the right career path, I've chosen the right major, that I want to do this. I have ideas that I like write down about when I have my own classroom and I feel like I wouldn't have that if I was just sitting in an education lecture two times a week. A lot of my sweet mates that I live with are education majors as well and they aren't getting the same experience as I am. They make up students and then create lesson plans around them and I'm actually dealing with students and creating lesson plans for them. So that means a lot to me. One of the things that we do in the Ed 200 course is talk about race and ethnicity. And at the core of that, to me, is that notion of um, how we come to stereotype. And that comes from generalizations. And then generalizations can become stereotypes and biases. We talked about it in my college class on campus. When I did it with the students at Marlboro, I could, we could have that conversation, then I could have them go in and look for examples of that in the classroom. Then they each developed a lesson specific to the kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth grade classrooms. Those lessons were spectacularly successful um, and the teachers were very, very excited. So that's, I mean, to me, one of those just quintessential examples that happened the very first semester that that you you can only get if you're in the classroom. Well during sophomore year second semester Education 200 really taught me like so much. I learned about like colonization and the way that I teach and deliver lessons can um, instill or start like the root of a bias or like a stereotype that kids can develop like throughout their education. I realized just how important it was for me to deliver material in a manner that students have both sides objectively. We did a lesson about a bug. So every kid got the same instructions to draw like a circle for the body, a head, wherever you want, and then four legs. And then the next step was for them to decorate it how they would want. And each kid said how their bug was different and special to them. And we talked about how relating it back to Paris and people, how like everyone's different, but everyone's unique in their own way. Like don't let someone say because you're different that doesn't make you unique. Like you're still special and you're still an important person. I know my roommate, she she did a project or something where they had to like teach a lesson but they taught to their peers as they were first graders we're here we can take the readings that we're learning about and you just step into the classroom and you see all the different things and it actually happens and you can see the we're talk, learning about the management and then you can just turn and look and see what Miss Fairfield uses as her management so it's a lot easier to take what we're reading and automatically see it right away in the classroom. I use it. I bought the um, cafe book the, with the daily five and everything in it. So it, it was interesting to kind of like look at that as it was going through because I mean it's one thing to read it but it's another thing to see it happening. So I thought that was very interesting. Great. It's a night and day difference from the beginning of the semester to the end of the semester. Even though they this was of their second course in the program, even still from January to May it's night and day. And it's night and day comparing them to my students that have the course just on campus. You know, we, it's, a, it's a new approach. It's immersion. It's apprentice. Um, the students are part of the teaching culture, not just coming into the culture. They've, they've been embraced in that culture. Um, those students right now are juniors there, and they're part of the teaching staff and faculty, part of the community there. And that's something we had kind of envisioned in the, in the beginning and I, I can see that happening right now. Um, the students are going to be moving into methods and coming up and that's going to be exciting and to their student teaching experience. So I'm really looking forward to see, seeing what, you know, how this foundation has impacted their ability to perform and meet the proficiencies that we set out for teacher education. So,